Namaste angels. I'm here to do the daily reading for Tuesday, October 18th. And I just heard in my bedroom for a second, I thought I was crazy. And then I remembered that I was an angel. <laughs> uh, super loud, only it's not, it wasn't actually playing. Cranium, nobody has to know. Now, this is a song about a woman who has a, uh, who was involved in a, like a secret relationship with um, a man and she has a boyfriend but yeah she's in she and this other man young man um, are in love and he's saying well nobody has to know that you you know always come to my house and we do what we do and we're in love and all that stuff nobody has to know so this could mean for the reading perhaps some of us are about to embark upon a secret relationship or to um, a secret relationship that is already existing is about to like deepen. Um, and be furthered. For others, it could be a prompting. Maybe you want to. Uh, consider letting go, since this is a period of letting go, letting go of that other person, um, whichever one is extra. So if you're in love with this person to whom you are not um, connected as a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, um, maybe you want to Continue relationship in secret if you have to for now, but work on whatever proceedings are necessary and applicable for you um, in releasing the person to whom you are connected and let them go off and be with somebody um, with whom they can have true love, have and find or find and have true love as well. Okay. Uh, that said... As I've been shuffling, unfortunately, coming to the energy of ego and Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment. So maybe this is why some of you are still with that wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, feeling like you're stuck and you have to be. And so your relationship, um, the one that you really uh, enjoy, that is really for you, um, with whom you are truly in love, that one is a secret. Because you feel that you're stuck somewhere else. You're not stuck. It's a false sense of entrapment. And you're being overly focused on material things. And having negative and or fear-based thoughts. No good. Instead, you should stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. Getting to the historical events. In the year 1009, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem is destroyed by the Fatimid Caliph Al-Hakim B. Amar Allah, who hacks the church's foundations down to bedrock. How horrible is that? In the year 1685, French King Louis XIV revokes Edict of Nantes, or Nantes, N-A-N-T-E-S, canceling the rights of French Protestants. Ooh, this day was just crappy in history thus far. How do you cancel somebody's rights? In the year 1867, or 913, or 13, or 4, the U.S. takes formal possession of Alaska from Russia, having paid $7.2 million for it. Nine. In the year 1922, British Broadcasting Company, the BBC, is founded and later called the British Broadcasting Corporation instead of company. In the year 1962, Dr. Watson of the United States and Drs. Crick and Wilkins, Crick may be Francis Crick, um, who discovered the Palladians and the Pallades. I'm going to guess that it probably is him. Um, but anyway, these three doctors in tandem, Watson, Crick, and Wilkins, who is British, win a Nobel Prize for medicine um, for work in determining the structure of DNA. Yes. Did you know 
in a New York bar decorated with bird tail, customers ordered cocktails. This must have happened first in the year 1776 on October 18th. Famous birthdays. Pierre Trudeau was born in 1919. He died in the year 2000. Peter Boyle was born in 1935. He died in the year 2006. Lee Harvey Oswald, um, the man convicted of having assassinated President Kennedy, was born in 1939. He died in 1963. Mike Ditka is 76 years old or 13. Martina Navratilova is 59 years old. And Jean-Claude Van Damme is 55 years old. Famous weddings in the year 1869, Sardinia King Victor Emmanuel II, 49 or 13, weds his mistress, Rosa uh, Versalana, 36, 9 in Italy. See his mistress. Nobody has to know the secret relationship. Maybe that, all of that was leading into this. In the year 1926, communist revolutionary leader Ho Chi Minh, 36, 9, weds midwife Zing uh, Uxming. X-U-E-M-I-N-G-21 of Guangzhou. In the year 1952, Latin actress Maria Felix, 38 or 11, was actor and singer Jorge Negrita, 40, in Mexico. In Mexico. <laughs> 1970, actor Lee Marvin, 46. I think Lee Marvin was the uh, $6 million man, like a bionic man. Uh, anyway, 46. He weds radio producer Pamela Marvin, 40. In the year 1986, Fleetwood Mac member Christine McVie, 43, weds keyboardist Eduardo Quintella, or Quintella, uh, Q-U-I-N-T-L-A. In the year 2000, actress Demi Moore, 37, divorces Bruce Willis, 45, due to irreconcilable differences after 13 years of marriage. It was the death to it, to that marriage. In the year... 1931, Thomas Edison passed away. He had been born in 1847 or 9-11. Uh, Bess Truman, I guess she was a former first lady married to Harry Truman, I would presume. Uh, she was born in 1885 or 913 or 13, and she died in 1982, 11. All right, let's see who she was. I'll begin with her. Best Truman, full name, Elizabeth Virginia Wallace is an American, U.S. First Lady, the wife of Harry S. Truman, and the First Lady of the United States from the year 1945 to 1953. She was born on February 13th in the year 1885. She is an Aquarius from Independence, Missouri, USA. She died on October 18th in the year 1982 at the age of 97, wow, um, of congestive heart failure. So she had a long life. Thomas Edison, who was born in 1847 or 9-11, as I just said, was an American inventor, prolific inventor whose discoveries changed the modern way of life. His inventions included the phonograph, the electric light bulb, the electric power industry, and motion pictures. His passion for direct current DC over Westinghouse's al alternating current AC resulted in the shameful electrocution of both an elephant and a man. He was born on February 11th in the year 1840. He's an Aquarius from Milan, Ohio, USA. He died on October 18th in the year 1931 at the age of 84, 13 of diabetes complications. Pierre Trudeau was born in 1919. He's a Canadian. He was the Prime Minister of Canada. As head of the Liberal Party, he was Prime Minister of Canada twice, from the year 1968 through 1979, and from 1980 to 1984. A charismatic leader, he inspired Trudeau mania in the, in the late 1960s. Born October 18th, 1919, he's a Libra. 
from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He died on September 28th in the year 2000 at the age of 80 of Parkinson's disease and prostate cancer. Did I say prostate again? Prostate cancer. What? What? What's a prostate? Lord. My apologies. In any case, Peter Boyle is an American actor best known for his role, role as Frank Barone on the sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond and as a comical monster in Mel Brooks film spoof Young Frankenstein. He was born on October 18th in the year 1935. He's a Libra from Norristown, Pennsylvania, USA. He died December 12th in the year 2006 at the age of 71 of multiple myeloma a.k.a. cancer. Lee Harvey Oswald, born in 1939, is an American ex-soldier and a drifter. He, was assass he is famous for assassinating U.S. President John Kennedy. Or did he, it says in parenthesis. I guess that's for the conspiracy theorists. He was born on October 18th in the year 1939. He's a Libra from New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. He died on November 24th, November 24th in the year 1963 at the age of 24. So 24 on the 24th, he was shot by Jack Ruby live on TV. Mike Ditka. He is 76. He's an American NFL head coach. Coached the Chicago Bears for 11 years and the New Orleans Saints for three. He is one of only two people to win an NFL title as a player and a, an assistant coach and a head coach and the only individual in modern NFL history to win a championship with the same team as a player and a head coach. He was born on October 18th, the year 1939. He's 76 years old, a Libra from Carnegie, Pennsylvania, USA. Martina Navratilova, 59 years old, is a Czech tennis player. She's famous because in her career, Navratilova won 18 nine Grand Slam titles. She won 31 major women's doubles titles and 10 major mixed doubles titles. She was born on October 18th, the year 1956, 1-1-1. She is 59 years old, a Libra from the Czech Republic, Prague to be specific. And lastly, Jean-Claude Van Damme is 55 years old. He's, in, he's a Belgian actor and martial artist and a director. I didn't realize he was a director best known for his martial arts action films. Okay. That makes sense. He was born on October 18th in the year 1960. He's 55 years old, a Libra from Brussels, Belgium. Okay. Let's see if we can get a better card here. Going from ego up to the moon, major arcana card number 18, the moon archangel Haniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So we got to release these fears, these fear-based thoughts and these actual fears. We got to release everything that doesn't serve us. That's what the moon um, moves and moves us to do, suggests that we do. And I'm actually doing this reading on the 16th, which will be the day or night of the full moon for many of us. And the moon is back. The moon um, can be a Pisces or is a Pisces in the tarot. Um, can represent all of the water signs, any and all of the water signs. But yes, it's uh, primarily a Pisces. And now opening to the sun with Archangel Uriel. Beautiful, happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Sun is back. Open now to the page of fire, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. The sun is back. Yes. Oh no. I just opened to the three of air. I hate this card. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others. It just, it's just not romantic or, or at all. It's like depressing. And I don't like, even though this isn't specifically a love reading with it being for, you know, loving unions, I don't like to see it here. And I'm glad it's gone. The sun is back. I'm going to go one more time. I'm going to push my luck. Open it now to the seven of water. And that decision that has to be made by some, a complex decision it is, the time to 
do some research perhaps before you make that decision so you can finally make it stop procrastinating but the sun is back so it's going to be a happy outcome whatever that decision is and i'm going to quit while i'm ahead and go ahead and cut now as you can see How's that for awesome landing now on the star, Archangel Jophiel. So we've seen the moon, the sun, and now the star. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. Not the short plans. Yeah, we're going to keep going toward happy. No more going back. We're on the right path. The overall energy is the four of fire, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. And maybe that's why I said for a change, 13, which equals four, because usually when I see 13, I just go with the energy of 13, which is all about releasing and letting go of not, what no longer serves us. But today I did say 13, which equals four, and I thought, but did not say that means foundations and domesticality and happy home life. Mm, nice. But I kept going. I think I was in the middle of that segment with the on this day. But it's back. Energy of four is back. Awesome. Masculine is the knight of earth. So maybe he is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or just embodying that energy. He is on a mission. He's going to definitely reach it. We, I've told the story before of the tortoise and the hare. And I posted something on my Facebook page um, the other day, which was an actual race between the tortoise and the hare. And the tortoise won. Um, to any, you know, anybody that's on my page, you can go and check that out. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. You have a guardian angel. The knight of earth is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. And he's slow, but he's steady. And he always wins the race. Surrounding him... The three of fire could be a party of three or could be about abundance. And maybe it is about abundance since it is crowned by the night of earth, which is all about material um, and financial well-being. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. We have to have patience because, again, the night of earth is slow and steady. Make long-term plans. Go ahead and do that. And the, the star just told us to do that as well. So get on that. The masculine subconscious is Major Arcana card Justice 8, Archangel Raguel, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So for those of you who still have to make a decision, you're going to do the right thing. Um, for others of you, this can be uh, something working out in your favor. You finally getting your just due, perhaps at work or in the area, some fin financial uh, area. Maybe somebody owes you money and you're finally getting it, perhaps through a lawsuit or something. Uh, that's coming through. Feminine, you are the queen of water. We are the queen of water who is tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Beautiful. And surrounding us is the dreamer, Archangel Metatron. Take a leap of faith with this guardian and patron of all light workers. We can trust him. Follow your dreams. It leads to unexpected opportunities. Oh, and the lovers are back in the same exact position that they were on Monday. How super awesome is that? Archangel Raphael is here with intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. And we're in good health. Awesome. Crowning the seven of fire. So people are mad. They're jealous. 
right? They see all this, the night of earth, the three of fire, which can be good. I'm going to take it as good now because we also have this progression here to the four of fire, which is our overall energy. So I like that. Uh, justice. We're getting our just desserts, our just due. We're the queen of water. We're balanced. We're loving. We're caring. You know, no more cold um, swords. None of that. <laughs> and that's coming from a queen of swords. I mean, nobody any of any offense. It just is what it is. No more of that. We're, you know, we're loving. We're soft. We're pink. We're pretty here with this. And we're, you know, we've still got our guts about us and our, you know, some chutzpah as well. We're ready to jump uh, without knowing where we're going to land. It's all good. And it's all for this. The sake of this. We're feeling this. It's motivated by this. Somebody is our motivation. And so, so other people, you mad or not. Yes, they're mad. And you can address them and the situation about which they're mad. Or you can let it go. You will choose your battles with this card. And this is what's crowning the union here. Oh boy. This card I'm not a fan of. The Nine of Air. Expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. Uh, it certainly doesn't belong between the lovers and justice. This is getting the just desserts. And um, having just read about, what was it, two or three couples um, in, with which a man married like his mistress or, you know, something like that. And having started this reading, talking about cranium nobody has to know and about this secret relationship with a basically a female and her mistress so to speak her mister <laughs> uh, her secret mister you know that's represented right here by these two cards lovers and justice this is you know get a divorce leave your fake wife for your true one leave your fake husband for your true one um you know easier if it's boyfriend or girlfriend but do that too and take a leap of faith to join your true love that that's what the cards say that's what the historical events said that's what that song said to me that's what the overall energy of the four of wands says to me let's see what archangel michael has to say to add to this balance that's what's going to make us balanced. We have to, this is the desire to be balanced, the need to be balanced. And in order to do that, we got to get rid of extra weight. Party of three has to go. Let's get some advice. Beginning with stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Opening to trust. This situation involves trust. It's going to require trust and faith. And that's what, um, on what a leap of faith is dependent. Trust is back. Opening now to free yourself. Yes. God is trying to tell you something right now. Trust. Retreat. And notice these people, this couple is in like wedding attire. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to disconnect from your current world. Free yourself from it um, so that you can go off into the sunset. Retreat is back. I'm going to go one more. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And now that's at the bottom. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So having just seen a uh, picture, a card of a couple walking away, what I called walking off into the sunset in their wedding attire and then landing on a card like honeymoon just reinforces what I've already um, been feeling and have said. And goes along perfectly with this wedding card of the tarot, the four of fire.
And I should tell you, when I picked up that four of fire, underneath it was the five of pentacles in reverse. So that was not for us. Spirit says, very soon. That's the overall energy. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Wow. I love the way the messages, every single thing has been reconfirmed uh, here tonight. Yes, some of us have a decision to make. You better do the research you need to do or the introspection you need to do, whatever you need to do um, to clearly decide and outline for yourself what it is you want so that you can have it and free yourself from release what you don't want. Free yourself from what you don't want. That's the overall energy uh, here accompanying the four of fire, four of wands. And masculine, to you, the advice is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Feminine, to you, forgiving and learning as you release, okay, some more release, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, uh, whereas, for example, perhaps there had been a party of three, but now, you know, this is where you are. And this is where you are. And this is where you are. So we're just going to forgive that um, party of three, that that ever, forgive and perhaps even forget that that ever happened. Outline what we want and be clear about it. Set some boundaries. And then just move on to this. We're going to choose our battles. We're going to choose our battles. There's no need to keep fighting over this that's been released. Once we forgive, you know you won't necessarily forget. Some of you may forget. You won't necessarily forget. But if you truly forgive, you're not going to keep revisiting it. It's done. And let's just move on to this. Awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed the daily reading. Namaste, angels.